everyone, this is Rob here, and I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to put AdSense ads onto a WordPress website using widgets. Now, I've got a website here, um, and I'm going to try and put an ad here and an ad here. Here is my AdSense page. I go to My Ads and click New Ad Unit. I'm going to give the ad a name. These are the sizes, and you can just click this, and it'll show you the site, the actual um, sizes, so you can get some idea of of them. The first figure here is the width, and um, you might like to try a 300 wide um, rectangle on your sidebar. Um, but if you're not sure about the size of this, go into Developer Tools for Chrome or for Firefox, or you can use fi the Firebug plugin for Firefox, and just hover over there, and you'll see. Unfortunately, um, it's actually only 260 pixels wide, so we don't want to put a 300 wide ad in there. So we don't want a half banner, but there are these squares, 250 by 250, so that will sort of fill out that space. You've got a choice here where you can have text ads only, image rich media ads only. Let's go for both at the moment because I want to show you how to change the colour of the text in the ads. Uh, it's always a good idea to mirror the, the colour of the text here. And again you do that by going into developer tools. By the way, you, you know, in order to go to developer tools, it's command option I on the Mac, it's control shift I on the PC, you can go here or to the wrench menu and you go to tools, developer tools, and um, the, then they come up. There's similar commands in, in Firefox as well for their developer tools and, and also the Firebug. But anyway, this will show you the colors that we need. So we've, we've got um, a dark red for the links there. So we want to mirror that on the ads. So you just copy that there and you go back into your AdSense and click on use custom settings and we want that as the URL color down there because it's a link. That blue is very generic. Let's see if we can pick another color um, from the website. I might go with this darker red, it's not perfect, but I just want to show you how you can change these colours. You can also obviously change the text from black if you wanted to. Let's have a look. Uh, this isn't a pure black, it's 333, and um, let's have a look at the text. Again, that's 333, so it makes sense to change that to 3333, three six times. Um, so that's all done. You've chosen your size, you've chosen your ad type, uh, leave all this for now and you've changed the custom settings to get the, the colours of the text ads to look more like the rest of your site. So you just get save, you just click save and get code there and there you are, you just click on that and copy it. And then you go to widgets and here is the sidebar with everything else. All you have to do is get a text widget, drag it over to the sidebar there, we want it, we want it at the top, and paste in the code and press save. Then go back to the site and refresh, and there is the ad. Obviously you think, oh my god, it's not worked, but what is actually happening is Google is finding out what sort of material you have on your website so it can place a relevant advertisement there. So just give it a while. Um, Google says it will be 48 hours, but in effect it will only be a few, a few hours, hopefully. And here you see this is only about 10 minutes later. Google has man managed to um, find an ad that it believes is relevant to the content of this website. Um, don't click on the ad, whatever you do. Don't tell your friends to click on the ads. Um, just put the ads there and see if they make any money. In this case, they won't make any money but because the website is extremely unpopular, only gets a few clicks a day. But um, for, for sure, never ever click on your own ads. I'm going to just try and put another one up here um, just to show you how you, 
um, how you do it. Let's um, create a new ad unit as well, give it a name so we know what we're talking about. I'm going to put a header. And um, oh, I think 468 by 60 is going to be perfect. Uh, let's just do rich media ads this time so I, I won't have to change the colors on the text ad. Save and get code. Copy that. Go back into your widgets and it's header right here. If you don't have that widget, particular widget, you, it, it's that will be down to the theme you have. I've got, I'm using the Genesis theme here. Paste it in and save. Go back to the website and refresh. Nothing's happened, but let's have a look. And you can see that um, there is an iframe there with the scripts inside the text widget there. So the code is all there. It just, again, it hasn't happened. Uh, we'll wait a sec before Google manages to put an ad there. And finally, this took about 20 minutes, actually. Uh, we have um, a Google ad there in the header as well as the sidebar. So thank you very much for listening. I hope that wasn't too painful. This has been Rob from robcubbon.com. Goodbye. Thank you.